beauty viewers it's crystal here with a review on the alme softy eyeshadows um i only have one to review unfortunately because they were only honoring the one coupon at a time thing on these and i had a two dollar off coupon off alme and it brought this from 4.99 down to 2.99 so three dollars wasn't that bad they only had two colors left. They had the purple color and they had this one which is Peach Fuzz, which is 135. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. There you go. They're very small. I can honestly say that for five dollars you expect more, especially since you're getting one single color. But I think it's the nuance of it more so than it is the size. Um, the containers are nice. They remind me of the Artist Pop palette paints. Um, I have swatched this color a couple times. I've actually worn it once. I really like it. As you can see, you can see where I've pressed in. It left a little press print. That is because these are not like, these are not a cream, these are not a powder. These are a cream to a powder. Um, let's see if I can get a good focus in here. When you press into them, they will leave an indention. And you can see that creaminess and you can smooth that back out but to the finger they really feel like a very 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 silky caviar powder and here is that color swatched on my hand I swatched that just a little bit earlier they're very much like the Maybelline dream bouncy blush that I reviewed before for you guys um, in the in the sense that they go from a creaminess into a powdery feel now I can honestly say, everyone say, oh they're exactly like, no they're not, no they're not. Um, even Novi Cheap, which usually is very, very upfront about it, she um, she thought these were exactly alike. I really don't think so. Whereas this has more from start to finish of a powdery feel, this almost has a clay, as you can see the, how over time it's more of like a clay. You can really see the play in that see the way it just moves about like that and I can really press in and it really leaves an indention and then you know you got a lot of product on your finger and with this one I just want you to see from an angular let me get a good view that when I press into it it still holds a consistency of a powder and lightly leaves an indention there's not as much and I'm pushing pretty hard clay play in that so this one is more of a powdery finish which you can see here than with the dream bouncy you can definitely see the difference in texture there so that's just an FYI for those who thought that it's gonna feel exactly as the uh, dream bouncy blush it does not it does have a very similar effect but in my opinion this feels a lot smoother to the touch and it goes on a lot smoother over primer it would obviously be a lot more noticeable since it is such a light shade but it's definitely true to pod color this looks like the exact color you're seeing in the pod which is impressive now I decided to go ahead and do a bonus review because I was supposed to put it at the end of my last video and I didn't it was the actual review on the simple sensitive skin experts eye makeup remover um, they make a claim here, a claim that really upsets me. It says, removes waterproof mascara. Okay. I took some of the Project Runway All-Stars Mary Kay I Love Lash Mascara, and I applied it here and let it dry. I wanted to do so so that I could just show you guys that they're lying. <laughs> just plain and simple, those folks lied. Let me get a um, a cotton swab of sort. Okay. Um. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Getting over a cold. No, 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 no. I just need you to hold my. Oh, okay. camera. I thought you needed to use me as a test dummy. Sorry for the finger, guys. And I'm swinging you everywhere. I'm All terribly right. sorry. Yeah, he was busy doing something and I just stole them. I'm just going to put it directly on just so I know I'm getting the best concentration of it. I just want you to see how it will remove. But I'm literally having to 
scrape my skin. <laughs> get the Brillo pad. To get yeah, exactly. To uh to get this off. This is not coming off with just some just a little bit of this fluid like my regular makeup remover is. And it's and it's still leaving behind you can see the red. You can see how red I'm getting from having to rub so hard. But you really have to scrub with this stuff to get the makeup off. And you see it's actually not even taking it all off. Now, give me just one second. This is the I'm snowman. Gonna, I'm gonna grab my go-to eye makeup remover by L'Oreal. And just get some on the other side and show you the difference that this makes as opposed quick no real rubbing you can see I'm not stretching the skin and that came right off all that peach is gone everything so as far as would this be a game changer for me would this be a product that would come into play in my my setup no it wouldn't be and look at that I got some on Mr. Snowman he should be clean now but um this is definitely not a product I would recommend because it may be nice and gentle on the skin. I mean, if you have really problematic skin and this is all you can use, I guess then I'd recommend it. But as far as there are much better products out there for a lot cheaper. I think I paid $3 for this on a sale one time. They had 50% off L'Oreal and I made use of that sale. So, yeah. But as far as the original review on the Al Almay Softy Eyeshadows, I'm loving these. And... I seen at Target they have a two pack for six ninety nine, so it does take it a little less than the standard five dollars each. Um, I'm still waiting on a better sale, maybe you know a fifty percent off sale or a buy one get one fifty percent off at least. Um, but I'd like to get a couple more because these are really nice and they're very very soft and they seem to stay in place without any fallout. And I guess that's the little bit of the cakiness that I talk about, just a little cakiness to it just really gets it to stay without necessarily needing a primer or anything like that. And I'm sure these would work as a primer, just like the Maybelline 24-hour um, color tattoo, um, which I plan on making myself uh, a trip down to Big Lots as soon as funds allow to pick up some of the um, OPI Sephora polish that they got going on there, as well as the color tattoos for a dollar. So. Definitely be on the checkout. If you have a Big Lots, check it out. If you have a Dollar Tree, check it out. They have been getting name brand stuff for a buck each. You cannot beat $10 products for $1. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.